I am joined here by a well-known face here on the Montreal scene, the Canadian scene, uh, local artist David Hodges. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me, Camille. And of course, you are on this Notre Home tour, and, and essentially it's a song that's all about smoothing over uh, language tensions, if you will, or cultural tensions in the province. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, I guess uh, it is fair to say. I mean, that's the way that it's being perceived, but uh, it's also really a, a song for the English-speaking communities across Quebec to uh, have them identify with the Quebec culture to be proud to be Quebec, to be Quebecer. Right, and you're going and you're performing this along with holding workshops at various English schools across the province. Exactly. And you guys are pretty far along in the tour. Yeah, we're about halfway, uh, halfway there, halfway over the hill, as you could say. But uh, it's been a, such a great journey so far, and uh, for me, it's also you know to go out to all the uh, you know obscure areas in the province for me has also been a blessing to see how beautiful our province actually is. But also, it's really great to just go and uh, touch you know just touch base with a lot of the different youths and see what's going on with their in, like with their mentality. You know, and it's uh, it's actually a lot similar to the mentality here in Montreal in the sense that a lot of kids out there are trying to find their voice and uh, you know and art is one of the greatest ways to you know to freedom of expression self-expression and finding that voice right for our viewers who are curious about the song we've got a little clip here we'll play it for you just to take a quick listen Can you, can you just tell us a little bit about why you got involved with something like this? Did you have a personal experience with language issues? Um, I don't think I ever have, though. That's the, that's the, for me, I've actually never saw a gap to be bridged to begin with, especially on a community level. I work with a lot of Francophone artists. I have a lot of Francophone friends that don't even speak English, that are just learning to speak English almost by our relationship, you know, my friendships with these people. So it was almost a project that was like a no-brainer for me to jump on board with. Right. And it was actually, it was it, this is a collaboration project with the QCGN, the, the Quebec Community Groups Network, right? And uh, we've been working together at the Notre Home Tour as well, and it's been a, it's been amazing. But then, obviously, they this organization feels that there is a gap that needs to be bridged. So, what is the goal then? Uh, well, the ultimate goal is really to help youth find their voice. I mean, the QCGN's goal is different than the goal of the project. It's 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 similar, right. you know. But uh, I mean, QCGN their their goal is to sustain the viability of the English speaking communities, and the goal of the Notre Home Project is to inspire. English Quebecers to identify with the Quebec culture and find their voice here. Right, and to identify uh, with the Quebec culture. Do you think that there are, are you encountering students who don't identify with the Quebec culture? I mean, it's it's not even just the Quebec culture. It's like the, it's like just to have a sense of belonging in general. And I think that that's really what the whole, what this is all about. I mean, for anybody in general, it's like we all want to belong. And where is it that we, what, where is it that we want to belong to? And, you know, going out to all these different places in Quebec, it's really shown me that that's just the question. The ultimate question is where where do we belong? And uh, this project is a tool to help you know help youth find that type that voice and have that sense of belonging. You know through music, through arts, through culture. And the song is like yeah, it does bridge the gap in a way. But it's it's just to say that it, whether you're French or English or whatever your background is, it, it doesn't matter. It's really just about being true to who you are. Of course, we we got some footage of you on the tour uh, yesterday uh, or a few days ago when you were at uh, a local school here doing one of your performances. Can you talk to us a little bit about, you know, we see things in the news, right? Uh, controversy over Bill 14, controversy over Pastigate. In some cases, the tension does exist. Do you feel that it's trickling down to young people? Um, not really. I think young people are, are sick and tired of having these conversations and they right. just want to move on with their lives. And I mean, almost young people don't even realize, like, really know the bigger picture of what actually is is happening exactly. so I think that most youth like you know I come into the schools and like we taught we this issue does come up you know because through the nuts go home like project but also at the same time it's almost like you know youth they, they don't really want to have those discussions because right. it's not even an issue and very quickly you're calling on this new generation of Quebecer can you quickly summarize what that means to you the new generation of Quebecer the junior generation of Quebecer is just to embrace all walks of life all cultures and I think that we are moving towards that maybe on the political level on the top level there is some change that needs to be had but that's not 
That's not my responsibility. My responsibility is to be responsible for what I'm doing with my life. And right now I'm touring all the schools to just make sure that the youth don't give up on like themselves, don't give up on their home. And that, you know, we're also responsible as young people to, to contribute to our culture and to make it a better place, at least on a community level. I think that's like the bare responsibility that we all have as, you know, free, free Quebecers, you know, we are free in a sense where we can think freely and we can act freely to a certain extent. So we really need to like value that. Absolutely. David Hodges, thank you so much and thank you for all the good work that you're doing. Thanks, Emil.